everyone. Welcome uh, to my rectory in the living room here. And we'll be starting our daily update in a couple moments. Um, thank you for so much for joining me. Uh, we will start in a few moments. Going to get on the four parish page. So welcome everyone, and um, we'll start in a few moments. So, so behind me is um, is a picture of uh, of uh, Saint Joseph's Chapel in uh, at Loris College. Uh, it's where I prayed uh, every day uh, when I was chaplain at Loris. And then behind me are uh, the images of, of St. Francis of Assisi and St. Clair that I got when I went to Rome and uh, Italy that um, my first time over there. So um, it's good to see everybody. Come on, on, and we'll start in about a minute. And we'll do our update and... Hope you have a nice uh, Sunday evening. It was a beautiful day. It, it got uh, a little bit cooler uh, as the day went on with the clouds and everything. So, yeah, so uh, this chapel here uh, that I'm pointing to, um, it's one of two chapels at Loris College. Um, St. Joseph's Chapel is where we used to have Eucharistic adoration every day, uh, all day. Uh, it's where I did the holy hour with the focus missionaries every evening. And um, it's a special place. And I got that as my going away party, going away gift from Loris before I came up here. So I wanted to put it in my living room. So, all right, it's eight o'clock. Uh, thanks so much for joining me today. Today is the third Sunday of Easter. Hope everyone enjoyed their Sunday as, as best as we can right now. Um, I thought I'd do the video in a different part of the house, and uh, this is the living room here, and I'm on my couch. So today we had uh, Holy Mass, and then we had um, the Rosary before, and then this afternoon um, had a chance to take a nice walk, uh, a nice day, and um, this evening uh, I got to do some social distancing and had a chance to um, to have a beer with Father Aaron Jungi. He came over and we sat on the patio and we're socially distancing and had a chance to share a beer with him. He's doing well. So it was really great to be with a brother priest. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to share with all of you. Uh, one thing that I uh, want to share with all of you is um, how we're going to open up. Um, I think we're still a far way off from opening up and going back to a regular time of praying together in church and having public mass together. Uh, the Archbishop sent an update yesterday, um, letting us know that he's going to start um, collaborating and consulting with parish leaders, pastors, and uh, other lay folks to find out how we want to come back together for the first time. Um, I think that's going to take some time for us to figure those out. So even though there is some hope of us actually gathering together again, I do think that there is some patience that we that we have to have. Uh, I think tomorrow we're going to get some indication about from the governor of, of what's going on. Um, her press conferences are at 11 a.m. every day. Uh, so if you're looking for that, uh, that's a good thing to watch to find out where we are as a state. Um, one thing that I've been studying quite a bit about is uh, the pandemic of 1918 uh, with the Spanish flu. And um, unfortunately, I think we are following the same pattern, uh, following the same pattern that we did back in 1918. Um, it was right around this time that back uh, in 1918, society opened up again. And then there was a second spike of the Spanish flu. So we really have to pray for prudence and 
um, wisdom for our leaders. No matter how you feel about this whole thing, we want the right decision to be made. And just because we feel that something is right doesn't necessarily mean that it's right. So I really think we as good Christians and good citizens of our country, our county, need to pray for our governor and pray for all public health officials and pray that we do not open up too early uh, because there is still no treatment for the coronavirus. Um, and I was talking with Father Aaron in our hanging out on the back and I think we really are entering into a brand new world. Um, and we just have to really realize that, that um, this is the long haul and um, we have to realize that when it comes to all of this. That's why prayer and being rooted in our faith is so important. Uh, those are kind of my random thoughts uh, for tonight. Uh, what I want to do for prayer tonight is um, share with you uh, night prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. We've done this before. I thought that could be our um, our, our, our uh, night prayer. One thing I'm learning right now is I'm having a glitch on my live feed, but in looking at the recording, it looks like it's something wrong with my computer. So um, let's pray that our technology continues to work so we can stay in contact with one another. So thanks so much for joining me. We're going to end our night together by praying, and we're going to do night prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours, it's Psalm 91. It's the same Psalm every Sunday night and may it uh, help you to commend, um, um, so we can commend ourselves um, to God's grace and protection. So please join me for prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As we come to the end of the, of the day, let us ask God for forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please join me for night prayer. We'll begin with the psalm now. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty says to the Lord, my refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. It is he who will free you from the snare of the Father who seeks to destroy you. He will conceal you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that prowls in the darkness nor the scourge that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 fall at your right. You it will never approach his faithfulness, his buckler and shield. Your eyes have only to look to see how the wicked are repaid. You have said, Lord, my refuge, and have made the most high your dwelling. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach where you dwell, for you as he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you upon their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. On the lion and the viper you will tread and trample the young lion and the dragon. Since he clings to me in love, I will free him, protect him, for he knows my name. When he calls, I shall answer, I am with you. I will, I will save him in distress and give him glory. With length of life, with length of life I will content him. I shall let him see my saving power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the book of Revelation. They shall see the Lord face to face and bear his name on their foreheads. The night shall be no more. They will need no light from lamps of the sun, for the Lord God shall give them light, 
and they shall reign forever. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Together we pray. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations in the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep. But awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord, we have celebrated today the mystery of the rising of Christ to new life. May we now rest in your peace, safe from all that could harm us, and rise again refreshed and joyful to praise you throughout another day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the all-powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful death. Amen. And we commend ourselves to the love and protection of the Virgin Mary as we say, Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. The son whom you merited to bear, alleluia, has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia, for the Lord has truly risen, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I'd like to invite you to put a bookmark at Psalm 91. It's a wonderful psalm that speaks about plagues and struggles and dangers. And it's a wonderful, um, it's a wonderful psalm to pray often. Um, so thank you so much for joining me tonight. And uh, tomorrow we'll have Mass at noon with 1130 Rosary. Um, and 11 o'clock is the press conference from the, the governor. We'll see what, um, uh, see what she has to say. And may Almighty God bless you this night, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you guys. Good to see all of you.